Hello everybody, this is Vertical Sandwich, and welcome back to Let's Play The Simpsons, and we are at the home of our creator. Home of our creator. I say we smash his face, bust his stuff, and take a leak on his lawn. Hey, how do you, boy? Wow, okay, so in case we didn't break the uh, cartoon character peeing <laughs> barrier before, we certainly bar broke it now, so... So they won a war! Well, then it's a war they'll get. <laughs> okay. Pilot, engage the super tuned defense systems. Yes, Mr. Groning. It's graining. Are you sure? No. All right. So that's really Matt Groening. Uh, I know be from listening to countless Simpsons audio commentaries. And uh, so here we are in Matt Groening's uh, super rich Simpson mansion. Which, uh, I'm sure, uh, Matt Groening has made, uh, quite a bit of money, um, as a result of creating The Simpsons, so, and rightfully so, uh, I, I suppose, I mean, if you create something that lasts in the air and remains profitable for two decades, you probably should have a lot of money as a result. I don't know, I've never really looked it up to see if there's any kind of, you know, any kind of Forbes magazine rankings for him or anything. So these are the gold bars that Bart can shoot out of his slingshot. Uh, shooting a gold bar out of your slingshot would be physically impossible. A gold bar weighs like a hundred pounds or something. It's just ridiculous. So. But we'll pretend that uh, Bart's superpower allows him to do that. Oh wait, his superpower does allow him to do that. Okay. Oh, we got on the next string right away. Awesome. Wait, what? Ah, oh, no! Okay. Alright, back up. Try it again. Do it, Bart! Ah. Horrible. Alright, enough of that. Maybe we'll come back to that a little later when I feel like it. I don't really need to. I mean, I'm sure it's just a collectible on the other side. There's a really obvious crusty token. All right, so more lawyers here. Sorry, I had to run off and do something, so there is a little break in there. Uh, a pause screen that I will be eliminating. It's it's always been my philosophy that it's better to just draw attention to that than pretend it didn't happen. So, anywho, so we killed those lawyers. Um, We've got to get over there, and I'm not exactly clear on how we do this, but we might as well do that. So, yeah, the the sharks will kill us. And there's going to be a lot of gold bars around here, so, I mean, pick them up when you can, because the higher Bart's count is, because they're just going to be lawyers throughout the whole level, and they're they're rough, they're, they're tough enemies. So let's give this another shot. We can make it. I know we can. No, we got it that time. See, we just needed to break. Is it a switch? Uh, it just opens to the front room. I mean, I knew that wasn't the way we had to go, but... I was kind of... Oh, it's... Yeah, just Homer's bottle cap. That's the thing that's out here. We did all that for one bottle cap. But whatever, we did all that work. We might as well pick it up. Okay. So, and we've got a lot of ammo up here, and I know that there's a collectible up here, and we'll grab that too, but like, definitely we just, the 30 gold bars to shoot at things is far more valuable. I like the idea of, um, Matt Groening having topiary that looks like, like, Lenny and Carl and stuff. So the place we have to get, oh, it's right up there, okay, well, that's easy. And again, in this level, really, the key is going to be ammo. Like, don't let your, you know, you, you want to be able to turn into Gummy Homer. You want to be able to, like, those kind of things. You want to be able to turn into, like, um, you know, Fat Homer or whatever. So, you know, eat what you can when you can. Did that just unlock more lawyers? It did. Alright, we'll just gummy them to death. See, look how quickly we just killed those three guys. It's just ridiculous. Well, we killed two of them. 
Well, there's the third one. Bart says take that. Alright, so now we've just got to get over here. Oh. I thought there was another grappling hook thing, but apparently not. Really? Alright, take three. And there's another one. Yeah, see? I, I See, I knew what I was doing. Just gotta have confidence in yourself. Oh, jeez, we almost threw it all away there with hitting that other grappling hook. So, we killed sharks. Sharks with what? Lasers attached there? Isn't that like an Austin Powers thing? Sharks sharks with lasers? There. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and we, we, we switched to Homer when he was halfway across the sharks. That's awesome. Alright, and uh, I think we need to we need to use the fat the fat ability. I don't know what to call it. Like, king size Homer, I think is... That didn't work? That didn't do it? Well, I don't know how many times we have to slam into it. Well, that worked, but we died. Okay. We'll switch to Bart here. We'll let Homer do his own walking. Alright. And more lawyers. Not a problem. I love the screaming. The wah! <laughs> like, it's so funny. Oh, you can knock them in the water and they drown. That's awesome. Okay, so, uh, King says Homer again, I guess. I'm pretty sure that is actually the term. It is, it is probably King Size Homer. Is the... Okay. Ugh, stupid camera switch. That's what I'm going to blame on, uh, the camera switch. So I wonder where this grappling, like, the grappling hook thing keeps coming up. I was not trying to walk onto, like, look at, oh, Homer's mocking me. He's, like, out there, just like, look how easy it is. He's a jerk. Oh, it goes back over here. Well, jeez. And it doesn't, yeah, it drops us right between the sharks. That's convenient. Ugh, we're going to get this. We are. Seriously, I could just jump out to the middle of here and then Bartman glide somewhere. Did Homer go across without us? That would be hilarious. Alright, there we go. Ugh. Oh, very nice. Oh, we hit it twice. Ah, uh, stupid. Oh, that's nice. It's pretty repeatable, though. I like that. Suddenly I have an urge to sit on a couch. There we go. So it showed us the key we had to use to open his door. Like, not a very good security system. If you're planning on trying to keep people out, that's not the way to do it. It'd be like if you walked up to, like, a security number pad and it said, like, enter 1578294. And then you just entered that, and it let you in. That's not really security. 1578294. I should have said a number that meant something. That was just really just random something I just spit out. Like, but I could have picked a number that had some sort of significance. Um, Alright, or something, I don't know. It took me a while, though. <laughs> I actually had to sing the song in my head a little to be like... Figure it out. That may not even be... That may not even be right. It's been so long since I... There used to be... Okay, on YouTube there used to be this great claymation video somebody made for that song. And, uh... The audio... Like, they, they made him do an audio swap. They did a copyright claim. and It was a great, you know, like... I don't know. I get that you can't use, you know, copyrighted music or whatever, but... This is one of the few instances where it really... Th they probably should have embraced it and stuff. I mean, when people are just posting songs, like, with a picture of an album, so you can just listen to the 
studio version of a song. I get why you could crack down on that, but like when somebody makes a really cool original video, and I actually think that it might be in, you know, um, that might constitute fair use. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know anything about copyright law. So. I mean, I don't know. I got copyright claims on all the old puppet stuff I did where I used studio recordings of songs. Which is why they're not on my YouTube channel. Or, um... Because I didn't want to get copyright claims on this channel. And so far, I've only gotten two, ever. And, uh, one was for the opening of... Oh, timing puzzle. The wonderful timing puzzle. A welcome addition to any classic nut. Anyway, uh... The, um, I got one on the video of Final Fantasy X2 that I tried to post when I wanted to LP that. And I just took that video down and didn't do the LP. Um, and I got one on the first video of, uh, Raymond Raven Rabbit's TV party, I think. And, uh, they didn't require me to take it down. They just, um, put an ad on it. Said, if you're going to use our material, we're going to make some money off of it. And I was like, oh, okay. That's nothing. Who cares about that? So. And it actually didn't get... Well, I was surprised I didn't get any copyright claims on the, uh... The other stuff. I mean, not... Uh, why am I why I'm talking about video production this much, but... Yeah, the other 16 videos of that LP, they didn't care about, apparently. I think because the first video shows the Ubisoft logo. That was the only thing I could figure out. But whatever. So we got lawyers up here. So we've got to move this series of mirrors... Because eventually they'll make a path that opens the door. Pretty standard video game kind of stuff. Puzzle solving. And obviously we get pointed to the next mirror every time. So now we gotta get across. It's showing us what we need to do. We gotta get up there. And, and then eventually we'll be jumping from chandelier to chandelier. Oh, we solved that. Once you get across that bookcase, apparently it stops the bookcase from doing crazy stuff. Or maybe I just had a weird view on it. Oh, we can't use that. Okay, well. Ah, more running around. I can hear Homer beating stuff up or something. Doing again. something. Oh, there are. There's lawyers around here again. Kind of every stage of the puzzle that we solve will... Um, will create lawyers for us to fight. So. See, it's ironic. We see we started talking about copyright stuff because of, you know, lawyers. That was the, I don't know. It all ties in together somehow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I really don't. I'm just playing a game and blah, blah, blah. I've developed interesting compartmentalization in my mind where I can just ramble and play games at the same time. That's what 400 LP videos will do to you. So. I mean, it helps to know the game, too. It helps to not have to sit and go, What's go- What? I don't understand. Alright. Okay, so obviously we had to do that. Because it had a whole cutscene ready for us. But that doesn't help us get over here for this bottle cap. Well, whatever. I mean, you know, I kind of actually put it in my head as we were playing outside. That I was going to try to get all the collectibles in this, but I'm not. It's too much. Okay, Homer. Do some damage. There we go. This is the one we really needed. This is the... Oh, and it knocks over a bunch of columns. That's awesome. Okay. And then we'll activate this, and hooray! Now we can get right back up here. In okay, case something happens to us. We're gonna make this first try, though. Oh! If we just gotten over a little more, we could have. We had it. Oh, jeez. Well, take three. I mean, you can really make some. You can really cover some distance. You know, jumping with Homer and things like that. There we go. That was what we needed. Oh, there, now we can bypass that. Awesome. 
Because we're going to need Bart. And you know, there's no real... I like that that light is coming out of the portrait of Matt Groening. Uh, you need Bart more for his ability to glide than anything else. You could do kind of anything here with, with Homer. He has... Uh, if you look up on those platforms, there are helium things for us and stuff. But once we start moving this, these... You know, we probably could have jumped across them while they were not moving, and then switched to Homer, and hopefully Bart would not have jumped off of them, and had him activate the puzzle, but whatever. I mean, we get the first one right here. All right, and there's our last one, I believe. And if we're good, we should be able to get on here, so... See, look at that. Oh, it's awesome. I'm so proud of that jump. <laughs> it was so good. All right, so now all we really... What we really could do now... Um, is uh, jump across... And just go to the end door. But uh, I wanted this this piece of uh, paraphernalia. I don't know what it is. I don't know what you call it. Yeah, I guess as you do the mirrors, the different puzzles in the room stop to make it easier. And that's nice. I mean, it's a good game design thing. That, like, the you don't have to worry about the timing puzzle on the bookshelves when you really should be worried about. I mean, not that you'd be worried about that anyway. But, yeah, you notice that the... Uh, the hammers in the wall there stop. So now all we should need to do is uh, get out of this room, and that's what we're going to do. I know we never did get that piece of Homer. So see, these are here in case you want to do this as Homer. Ah, oh, that was a bad miss. We should have had that. Well, whatever, we'll just start over. It's not, I, I mean, it's not that bad to... Again, with Bart, you know, with Bart's glide ability, uh, this whole thing gets a little easier. Alright. Oh, jeez, we couldn't even get the platform that time. Well, at least we got back up to where we started, essentially. That helps a little. Is bigger than the inside of Snoopy's doghouse. Was the inside of Snoopy's doghouse really huge? I don't remember from any of the, the Peanuts thing. I haven't seen a Peanuts thing in, like, a Peanuts movie in forever. Okay, I mean, maybe we can, uh, we can hit something from here, I would think. Look at that! Awesome! Yeah, and then these, these, uh, these pillars are here with Bart in mind, so that we can just go over to the next one, so... We kind of shortcutted that way, a little bit, I think. So now, all we need to do is jump on the chandelier. And then once we go through the door, I'll probably be cutting off the video, and uh, we'll do the boss fight next. Oh my god! Uh, if only I had been Homer, we'd have that collectible now. Anyway, uh, we'll do the boss fight next video. And then we'll probably just we'll go from the boss fight into the next level. Because we don't have a lot of options anymore. I mean, there's one level after this. So. Yeah! All right, come on, Bart. You can do this. I actually don't really believe that he can. Well, I can. I know I can do it. All right. I wish they'd put a pillar up here. We could. Well, maybe you could jump off the light shining pillar or something, and maybe make it to the next platform or whatever. All right. So yeah. So this is it. Right over here, we can just run around and go to the door. Okay, so next time we will uh, we will fight our creator, and you guys, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. You take care, uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.